Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off the quarter-final round, and yes, after the, after stunning upsets in the last 16, I think this tournament has definitely been blown open. And now, I f truly think it's anyone's tournament. I mean, I still think probably Laos, Ultimate, Queen and Ultimate King probably just edge out as favourites, but, you know, I wouldn't rule like, out any of these other guys. So, without further ado... Let's go on with our two matches. And yes, if my voice sounds a bit weird, it's a bit of a throat, sore throat. Anyway, at first felt the Dino Queen, we have a Uteraptor. But the show must go on. This Uteraptor was mightily impressive again against Cryonova in the last 16. I'm sure we'll see what it can do here. However, as for Nopi in the blue corner, we have the ever so resilient tank. Nopi's ace in the hole, this beast. And I'd probably say has got him to this point in the tournament. But can I get him past Ultimate Dino Queen? I know I may have sounded a little bit salty in the <laughs> at the end of the last last video because I lost. Actually, looking back at the match, it wasn't you know it wasn't as one-sided as I thought it was. You know, I think we both had an even number of hits, but there were so many ties it just suited Pyrus more. But anyway, enough about my match. Back to this one with Ultimate Dino Queen getting the first hit, but the Crystal Crusher being triggered. Ooh, here comes a Mayfly. Is Tank dead already? Oh, hang on, I better get me notes out. Oh, no, no, but one more hit will do it. However, if Tank gets off the next hit, and it is, it's going to be recovery time. And a defense boost. No be striking back. Not too bad, which means Queen will probably have to get two hits off now to kill the tank. Ooh, but there's one hit, the Uteraptor looking strong, there's the Crystal Crusher being triggered. Ooh, and the Crystal Crusher be activated, along with Defense Boost as well, that will also how, and also, the Crystal Crusher will lower the Uteraptor's defences. Which means, I'd probably say one hit from Tank will kill it. Doom. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, that's another tie, and that will be enough to give Ultimate Dino Queen a 1-0 lead. However, it is only a slender one. Ooh, here's where I think Nopi can take, a, take control of this match, because as for this second Dino, we have a Super Chomp. And this Super Chomp, should it get past the Uteraptor, will have the type advantage over the Opisthocela Claudia. But the Uteraptor though getting off the head. Is it gonna be that same old story again? You know the one. That will be a no, and here comes the light recovery to make sure of it. A hit from Chomp will finish off the Uteraptor, even the score for Nopi, and reduce Queen to her second dino. That second dino being the Opisthocela Claudia. Watch out for that shockwave. That shockwave could def could be useful for Queen. However, the Epistocela Claudia will be at a tight disadvantage against Chomp. So Queen will have to be careful. 
Oh, that's a Thai. I think Thais will probably suit Queen a bit more because, again, of that type disadvantage. And, well, you're going to see how little damage this does now. But a Shockwave will could always help. Okay, that's twice. Ooh, next round is awakening time for Chomp. Oops, hang on. Queen needs to go rock. And we need to do that again. And again. And Nopi will also be going rock. Ooh, and big hit coming from Chomp. And another light recovery, but next round it is awakening mode. Ooh, that Aqua Vortex will definitely help Queen there, which means ties will be no good for Nopi. Oh, but Queen gets set! Big hit that from Ultima Dino Queen. No Shockwave though. And it also halves Chomp's health, which again will help out Ultima Dino Queen's cause. Ooh, the hit from the Epis to Sea Claudia, a shockwave will. Well, yeah, that shockwave has guaranteed that Chomp will be dead. Because no matter what it, what happens here, if the Epis to Sea Claudia gets a hit or a tie, it will kill Chomp. Where Ultima Dino Queen still has the slender lead. But as for Nopi's third dino, we have an Isosaurus. And also, this Isosaurus will be at a type advantage against Queen's third dino as well, so. Wow, Nopi does have two type advantages in this match. Well, I had three type advantages, that didn't help me win, did it? <laughs> uh, Ooh, how big could this be? A tragic sphere from the Epistocela Claudia. And if a shockwave activates, Ultima Dino Queen, well, would have tightened her grip on this match. Probably. Oh, that's a tie. But all this suits Queen now because she can wear down that Isosaurus's health. And look at this, the Epistocela Claudia out of nowhere. Killing the Isosaurus. Or dropping his health to the red with the Bragosaurus will have very little work to do it to take it out. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, the Isosaurus is down. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. But the Epistocela Claudia would have died anyway. But the Isosaurus died in the tie, so Queen won that match. Oh, the Epistocela Claudia. Doing just enough to def well to defeat the Isosaurus. Well, it took the it took itself down along with the Isosaurus down, but regardless, that is a win for Ultima Dino Queen and a semi-final appearance. As for Nopi, it's a quarter-final el elimination, which is you know, you know didn't quite happen for Nopi that time. But you know, not too bad, not too bad. Definitely, he's definitely been a more, one of the more impressive candidates in this tournament. Right, now, time to find out who Queen will be facing in the semi-finals. Will it be Ultima Dino King, or will it be Darius? Let's find out. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see, oops, I hit my microphone, Ultima Dino King taking on Darius. At first for Ultima Dino King, we have a Brachylophosaurus. Can Ultima Dino King go all the way in this tournament? Or can the underdog Darius pull off another pull a ra another rabbit out the hat? It'll be tough because this Lexovasaurus will be at a tight disadvantage against our Brachylophosaurus. However, that crit will still pack a punch and attack boost will help. So I don't think the type disadvantage really matters here. Well, it didn't matter for me, did it? Because I lost. Just tune in my microphone. Alright. Let's, let's see who Ultima Dino Queen will be facing in the semis. Ooh, that's a tie. Here's the blunder type there, nullifying that paper move. Scissors move, sorry. Oh, no, the... I forget Ultima Dino King has move breaker. 
So Ties probably suit Ultimate more because of that. However, this suits Darius more as he gets the first hit of the match. But look how little damage it does. One Nature's Blessing will heal him up. Good time. Ooh, Ultimate getting the Emerald Garden off. That means it will get back the sliver of health that Lexovasaurus took away and then some. And it will take Lexovasaurus' health away. A nature's blessing here would really add insult to injury. <laughs> here it is, nature's blessing. Open a Dino King. And doing all that hard work. Is it Ty? Ties now suit the Brachylophosaurus a hell of a lot more than they did. Ultimate Dino King and Darius got off one hit each, but Ultimate Dino King made better use of this, and because of that, Ultimate Dino King has a 1-0 lead. However, it will, I doubt it'll be a 2-0 lead, because as for Darius' second Dino, we have a Eustreptor Spondylus. And this beast will be at a tight advantage against our Brachylophosaurus. Maybe, maybe that was Darius' strategy. Like, if he had a bad matchup in the first bit, maybe Eustreptor Spondylus could come in and finish pull it back for him. Maybe that's the strategy he's going with because his third dino is a water dinosaur so if his set, if this Eustreptor Spondylus faced a fire dinosaur and died, the Amplosaurus can always pull it back because of the type advantage. So maybe that's what Darius was thinking. And if he was thinking that, that's a good strategy. And I might I might do that for next for the next for next time. I might do that myself. And well, it's worked here because Darius has evened the score made far better use of those hits than he did with the Lexovasaurus. Right, as for Ultimate Second Dino, we have a Talarorus. A Super Talarorus. And, well, it's done okay, but overall, I'd probably say it's not been Ultimate's MVP of the team. But, can it pull its weight here in defeating you Strep the Spondylus, or can Darius bite back? Oh, that's another tie. But a lot of those this ma match. Ties will probably suit Darius more if they get a Cyclone off. Ooh, however, to get... Oh, actually, no. Ties will suit Ultimate Dino King now because of Tiebreaker. And the Earth Barrier as well. Ultimate. Has he turned the screw on this match? Are we going to see a King Queen semi? Ooh, I hope so. I'm sorry, Darius. If you win, you deserve to win, but I re I think we all want to see Ultimate Dino Queen take on Ultimate Dino King. Ooh. Okay, that's twice. Yeah, that's twice. Next round will be Awakening Time. Oh, it's a tie, but because of that Cyclone, Darius will get the hit, and that Cyclone also prevents Ultimate from dealing damage in a tie using Tiebreaker. And I think Tiebreaker's no longer in effect. Oh, Darius got the head! It's Dino Swing! Just when you thought Ultimate had turned the screw, Darius turns it the other way. Wow, D Darius has definitely been a big surprise in this tournament. I didn't think he'd get this far. I thought, you know, maybe, maybe he'll get out of the group. And that's it. But wow, very impressive. And look at that, a tie, again, but because of Cyclone, Darius gets the hit. And Ultimate Dino King, once again, in trouble. But he's been in this situation before, and he's going to have to dig deep again with this Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. We've seen Ultimate do this before, and can he do it again? I, again, I hope so, because I want to see Ultimate Dino Queen against Ultimate Dino King. But, so far, it's going to be Ultimate Dino Queen against Darius. Ooh. Well, it was quite an even match, but I'd say Darius has definitely turned the screw. Like, the ties with a Cyclone have helped him more than they've helped Ultimate. Ooh, however, Ultimate does get off a hit, a light recovery, and an attack boost. And Ultimate still has our Dino Stuffer, so I'm not counting him out yet. But Dino Illusion will not help Ultimate's cause, as now he will need two hits to finish off you Streptospondylus. 
Well, here comes one hit. There's the Dino Illusion. Oh, and here's hit number two to finish off, you strapless bombless. Now, normally, <laughs> poison, like that's, that's, like that's any use. Now, normally, this Ampelosaurus would be at a type advantage against Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, but Alpha Acrocanthosaurus does not have a fire move, so the type advantage will not apply. Ooh. All coming down to this. The Ampelosaurus gets the crit, but Dino Stuffer says no. Oh, that's a crit though from the Acro. Ultimate turning the screw. Oh, that be a tie, and there's the tie attack.